You've got a tune to KEXP, 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming around the world at KEXP.org. So excited to have Jeff Rosenstock here today. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having us. We're all really excited to be here. I'm it's cool. Look at all these lights. I know. You look so fantastic in here. Aww. You also looked fantastic at Sasquatch. Thanks. Um, such a great set. Thank you. We, we try to only show up at places where we look fantastic. I know. So. Well, Good. you know what? That's that's not a bad... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we try. Do we have to do 90% of the time. And Not so uh, much. you had a great new album that came out at the beginning of the year called Post, Thanks. and uh, only your most recent. Uh, uh, to say you're a prolific and busy artist, I would say is an understatement. Yeah. But uh, you like to keep busy. Uh, yeah. I, I write a bunch. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm always doing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to play some songs uh, from a couple of records, starting off with the newest album, Post. Yep. Cool. J Jeff Rosenstock live on KEXP. All right. Thanks. All right, everybody. Let's do it. Down, down, and down, drowning and dejected. Grass falling, creeps, chicken and exhausted. Dropped in that room while the house was burning to the mother, father. Whoops, on the side, but it was misleading. I fought the mob, but the mob was cheating. Great and morale was the body.
Cool. That song's called USA. This song's called Your Throat. live on KEXP. It's too bad you guys don't enjoy playing live. Yeah, it's the worst, right? <laughs> so much excitement and energy and enthusiasm in your live shows. And you've been doing this for such a long time, Jeff. Yeah. I mean, most of your life. And that energy just That's doesn't, crazy. doesn't seem to be flagging at all. Is music just a way to channel your natural energy? Um, I don't know. I think so. It's just kind of like, uh, it's just something I'm always doing. Uh, it wouldn't matter if we were in a band that was on tour and playing stuff like this, or if I was just at home, like, that's what I'm doing all the time, you know? That's why we're doing this, is because we like to do this. We're not, you know, you know what I mean? So I guess, I guess there's some sort of, like, anxious energy in me that is, uh, you know, gets released that way, but I don't think about it like that, you know? Well, we talked about, the, or we mentioned that you have been doing this for such a long time. Obviously, you just love it. It seems like you sort of can't stop yourself yeah. from making music. And you're not the only music who's embraced uh, the DIY aesthetic. But boy, I feel like you could be Jeff DIY <laughs> Rosenstock. You've really just uh, done almost every aspect um, of this industry and the music. But for the last few albums, you have found um, very like-minded record labels. So it is possible to get help um, from other people. How has working with these records allowed you to focus more on the music? What are the kinds of things that they bring to it that help you along? Um, well, it's been, I'm gonna take these off while we talk, because it's weird. Um, it's been nice, like, especially aside when Dummy, somebody like uh, Jamie Coletta, who was like always telling people about our band, uh, when like, I don't know, I'm kind of a shy person and I don't like to be like, hey, What's up? What's the right thing? You know what I mean? Uh, so just having people to do kind of the stuff that maybe I feel a little bit less comfortable doing. Um, but also, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a lot of people to work with you towards something. Um, but it doesn't feel all like that much different from uh, just 
DIY stuff. That's just kind of doing it with friends, and now we're doing it with new friends that we hadn't met before. Um, I think when we were all in bands that, that did stuff ourselves and did those things that played house shows and all that stuff, um, it was never... I feel like people sometimes think that you, like, you do that as a path to eventually get somewhere. Um, and I don't think that that is necessarily like how it should be or how it has to be. Like I think that the DIY world is fun. I think that house shows are fun. I mean, we still play chief shows. We still play all ages shows. It's just, you know, um, a matter that is kind of not able to be in those small spaces anymore. You know, um, and then and it's kind of the same thing with like record label stuff. Like just literally, I can't. Anybody who's ordered a record from me knows that it will not. That they're not available a lot of the time because we're always on tour, you know? Um, so it's great to have people who uh, are down with what we're doing and who we agree with and who are all just like super nice. Like all the people at Polyvinyl are so crazy nice and just want us to do what we're doing and just want to help us. So it's cool to have a bunch of extra help. Um, you know, I think it lets us be on tour more and just do a lot of stuff. But, uh, you know, I think both ways are good, I guess is what I'm saying. As you said, it's just nice to have a lot of friends supporting you and encouraging you and moving aside and letting you do what you want to do. I read in an interview, and I'm not surprised for as long as you've been doing this, that people sort of want to come to you and say, how do I do this? And I saw you give advice once. You're like, I just did what I want, and you don't have to copy what I did. Do what you want, yeah. and that's what will work. And that was really refreshing to hear because a lot of people are you know, eager to know how you know they can put this passion out there in the world and you're yeah. like, just do what you want. Sometimes. Yeah. I, and I always think it's weird when people ask me that stuff. Cause I'm like, I don't know. Like as, as far as I look at this, there is like, there's no, there is no authority on how to do it. Um, we are literally like, we, we have been in the van before reading like 10 ways to make your van successful on these websites with like listicles about it. And just kind of like, nah, this person's just, try to get clicks. This isn't the way any of my friends figured out how to do it. You know what I mean? So I think it's just, I think if you just do the thing that you want and if you just kind of, uh, I don't know, harness that good energy, then like worst case scenario, you play a show and nobody goes, but at least you're still having fun playing music, you know, um, as opposed to if you're like, all right, this is like the big industry one and this is going to make our band and then nobody goes to it. Just like, you know, coaches and taking you to go get ice cream after that show. <laughs> uh, like, I, I feel like, I don't know. It's kind of like, maybe it's just not wanting to set yourself up for failure. Maybe it's fear of like doing anything good. I don't know, but I think it's good to just do follow, follow the way that you want to, you know what I mean? And at least, then at least it's your mistake and not like something you could have been like, oh, I wish that would have been like this or that would have been like this, you know? I don't know. I could ramble forever about this and not get anywhere. So. Well, one of the things that you've done is make your music very easily accessible to people. You've given it yeah. away. And uh, you talk about that, I, that I'm not just a nice guy you know, trying to buck the trend, but that is a business decision. It gets your music out there to more people and they come out to your shows. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, I didn't realize it was a business decision until uh, people well, were like well, talking to me about it later yeah. on. And I think for me, it was just like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to wait to put out this record. I want to put it out for free right when I'm done making it. And I don't want like, what if it's not, I don't know. I want to be able to make something that might not be good. I want to be able to make something without like the fear of like, all right, this is the thing. It's like, I just want to make stuff and put it out there. I try, I wanted to make it good, but like, you know what I mean? I think there's a lot of, uh, I think there's a lot of baggage that comes with the plan and, uh, I think you I think you just do stuff a lot more I don't know easy especially early on uh without that kind of stuff. Well you've stayed super busy. You've had nearly an album of a year um under the name Jeff Rosenstock for the last few years and uh you have other musical projects as well and then you do music for Craig of the Creek on the Cartoon yes. Network and you were involved in that from the beginning. Yeah. Tell Lucky me, me, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that just debuted, I think it was in March. Tell, yeah. me, tell me about that. How fun is that? Uh, it's super fun. Uh, the, the create, one of the creators of the show saw my old band on the music industry play in a backyard in 2007, and that's how I got that job, which is, like, insane. Uh, it's really fun. I get to, like, 
I don't know, we, we, I talked to them about movies and music, and then I go through and I just kind of like write, write a whole bunch of stuff. They let me, like we, we're on the same page, so they let me have a lot of creative freedom, which is cool. Um, and uh, I think the show is really good and really funny. So that's nice because I have to watch it like a thousand times. Uh, and my wife is like in the other room as I'm listening to like a two second like loop over and over and over and over and over again, like trying to EQ a keyboard around it or something. Uh, it's a lot of just like watching it a lot and just trying to find, you know, trying to find the right mood and like making, it's really interesting to make a bunch of music that I never have to consider how to play live and I never have to like consider what the instrumentation should be to make music that I'm like naturally a very like, uh, I make me, I think, I'd like to think I make music that's very propulsive a lot of the time, um, but that music has to sit back. Um, it's just, it's like, it's like painting kind of with just like, but with sound. It's neat. It's really, really fun. I really like doing it. Well, uh, there's like 25 episodes out already, which is completely bonkers. Well, how fun for you to explore that sort of different side of music. You mentioned that your music's propulsive. One of the things I love about your music, and especially on this newest album, Post, is the dynamics. Um, that first song that essentially opens the album USA is a perfect example of that, the one you played today. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, something that we always talk about when we're in the studio, uh, especially this band, since, since We Cool was trying to make, like, I don't know, we all listen to a lot of, kinds, a lot of different kinds of music, and something that's always like uh, surprised me is that quiet bands, when they get loud, they're, they seem a, a little afraid to get like amps on fire, like Japanese hardcore seven inch loud. <laughs> um, and that like punk bands, when they get quiet, they seem afraid to like really, really peel back. So I think that, you know, Fugazi was a band that did that a lot and I always really liked their music because of that. So I think we're always trying to like, explore different ways to be super, super quiet in a way that our band would have, so that the crazy loud parts seem even crazier and louder. Oh, I love it. Jeff Rosenstock <laughs> is live here in the KEXB studios. What do you got next? Uh, we got a song called All This Useless Energy, uh, where we're using a useless part of my voice. Thank right you for now. letting us use that as a KEXP podcast. <laughs> What's up? Thank you for letting yeah. us use that as a KEXP podcast. Oh, yeah, thank you for letting us use that as a KXP podcast. Yes, yeah, so your label must have allowed that. Oh, know. yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I thought you, oh, man, I, I had no idea what you were saying for a second. It was like, yeah, thank you for putting it on your podcast. Jeez, whenever we see that stuff, we're like, oh, wow. So I was listening wild. Take it away. <laughs> Ooh. Silence. Cuts through 
Jeff Rosenstock live on KEXP, doing things with the headphones no one's ever quite done here before. Yeah, I can't believe that. <laughs> People must have slippery heads. They always fly off, but I've never <laughs> seen anyone wear them like goggles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's just the way they go. You know, that's what we're talking about. Just follow, follow what's happening. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a really quiet noise. <laughs> you do it. You do your thing. Uh, are we playing another? another I'd love that. Okay. Cool. Hey, hey, should we play songs? Uh, okay. This song is old. It's called "The Trash, The Trash, The Trash." Worry about the rodents. The maggots in the trash. So I don't empty the trash. I don't empty the trash Worry about the moldy dishes The spiders in the drain So I won't do the dishes today And I won't eat no dinner tonight And I won't write no letters today Jeff Rosenstock live on KEXP, the new album Post out on Polyvinyl Records. You all sound great. Will you introduce this fantastic band? Yes, yes please. please. This is Mike Huguenot. Mike Huguenot is from San Jose. He plays in the great bands Hard Girls and Shinobu. Um, Mike? And this one. And, oh, that's true. That's true. Um, this is Dan Pothouse from Santa Cruz via St. Louis. Uh, he plays in the great band ME330 and also has solo stuff. And this one. Uh, this is John DiDominici. Hi. Uh, we've been friends since high school, and we've been playing music together for, this is officially like 20 years this year, 21 years. Wild. Wow. Long time. Uh, what do you want to say, John? You've said it all. And uh, so I guess I'm not introducing our wonderful drummer, Kevin Noguchi, because I've said it all already. Hi. Kevin, what do you want to say? Hi. Oh, I want to say, well, Kevin really likes food blogs and stuff. 
like what do you vlogs? What do you call them? Uh, I like I call eater, them. that kind of stuff. So if there's any chefs out there who want to give uh, our drummers some free food uh, and take them on tours of restaurants and stuff, Get we're here. trying to make it happen. This is my only chance. Kevin, is that good? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Thank you all for bringing it today. Living the dream. It's Jeff Rosenstock. <laughs> Thanks Bye. so much, Cheryl. Thanks. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> You've got to tune to KEXB Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.